how's it going everyone? Uh, you may remember this that I this little stereo that I bought at the auction. I paid ten dollars for it. And I need to see if I can't get it fixed. Yeah, you know, we started out the see the door doesn't want to stay down. And this is a little Curtis. I don't know, no model number on it, I can't see, so we'll see. You see ya. Put a CD in it. We'll put Frankie in it. And if you hold it down. Eh, come on, there we go. It'll spin. And that's it. Just spin a little bit and quit. So it's telling me that the laser is getting weak or bad. Uh, we're going to see if we can adjust that laser. Some of these you can, some of them you can't. And let's see, what, what's that say? Never, never touch the lens. Oh, shit, sorry. Okay. And our tuner is so stinking stiff you can barely tune channels in. So we're, we'll see if we can't fix that while we're in there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this over on the bench and we're going to tear this little, little puke apart and see if we can't figure out what is going on. And see if we can't fix it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, well first thing I'm gonna do is get planted in my chair here and we're gonna see if we can't get into this thing. I know a lot of these, you know they use generic parts in a lot of these so if the laser really is uh, crap. There's not going to be a whole hell of a lot we can we can do. But you never know. Like I said, a lot of these lasers they're just like on our PS2s and ones and threes and Xboxes and Xbox 360s. They all can be adjusted. This isn't a very old unit, so uh, I'm hoping that we can adjust it. Okay, after removing eight screws, let's see, is there a model on this? Curtis RCD 628. Hmm, okay. Now, let's see, can we... Come on. There we go. That'll be our laser assembly. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I can... There, there, and this should be a... Yep. There we go. Okay, and there's our laser deck assembly. Let's see if I can get that put somewhere without breaking that everything. Okay, first, here's our latch right here, which doesn't want to latch. I don't know if we can get that out of there or not. First things first, let's let's see if we can even adjust this laser or if it's uh, going to be a, a lost cause. Oh, there's our little pot. There's our little pot right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get you zoomed in a little bit. There's our pot right there. 
Now, let's see what, eh, might be pretty good that that door wants to stay open. Okay, first thing we need to do is throw it in the trash. No, 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 first thing we need to do is check and see what our continuity is. Uh, okay. There we go. Let's see what the continuity is. There's two two little contacts on either on either side of this which you can get to and see we're at 1.022 most of these lasers uh, should be around right around like 4.8 if I'm not mistaken around 4 to 5 in that in that range is really is good now let me see if I have, uh, I got to get a wee little bitty screwdriver and we'll get that adjusted. So I'll, let me go find a screwdriver. Okay. I think I've got a screwdriver here that'll work for us. Maybe. Where are we at? Okay, we're at 1.023. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since I've adjusted any of these. I think it's counterclockwise. We'll turn it. Turn it down. Like I said, these trim pots, mostly every laser has a trim pot on it. No, oh, I didn't get it turned at all. That screwdriver may not even be, may not be able to turn it. I may have to find another screwdriver. Yep, looks like I'm going to have to find another screwdriver. So, let me see what I can find. I know, I know that one's going to be way too big, but let's... Let's try it anyway, since we're sitting here. Yep, still the same. And let's make sure it isn't already turned no, that way all the way. Oh, okay. Let me find another screwdriver. Okay. I think I got a screwdriver here that will work for us. Check it again. Where are we at? Yep, 1.029. Now on this, you want to go counter, counterclockwise. We're going to have to turn this guy quite a bit to get him even dialed in close. Okay, 0.9. getting there. Point six. Kind of like it there, but I want to, let's give it just a, just a hair more. See if we can at least get it under six. It should, should play just fine. 
There we are. 0.52. That I like a lot. Now, what we need to do <laughs> is we need to test it again and see if that works. If the if the CD player works, then we can start working on some other things on this. So let's get her hooked back up, and I'm not going to put the screws back in. I'm just going to hook up the. We'll just hook up the CD player. Okay. Which you can't see doodly squat. There we go. We'll come over here a little bit. These are always fun. I don't mind the these terminals. Again. Okay. And we'll plug, plug him back in. If we're going the right way. Nope, wrong way. There we go. That one. There's now this ribbon cable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this so you can see. Let me... Let me get you out of the stand. I think I can show it to you. Okay, what you have to do is that ribbon cable will slide right down in there. Right down in that connector and then we have that little two prong left right there. And it goes right down in there. And that's in that big one and that's all there is for for hooking uh, the CD player back up. Uh, I can't do this one hand. I tried, but I, I can't do it. So I'll go ahead and get that hooked up and then we'll take her over and plug it back in and see if we can get the CD player to work. Okay, we got her all put back together. Uh, no screws in it. Just we want to see if this is going to work. And we got old Frankie back again uh, with his Christmas songs. Close the lid. It comes up. One five fifteen tracks. Press play, and there she goes. Okay, we got the got the CD playing. Now we got to fix this. See if we can't fix this latch and this. Oh, I got that stiff fast uh, a tuner. So if you just needed to know how to fix your CD player on these little Curtises, uh, you can stop now and I'm going to continue working on this. Like I said, this is a, an, an RCD 628. So if you just needed to know how to get your CD player working, you can quit here and go do whatever you want or you can finish watching my video and see what else we do to see if we can't get this latch to fix or yeah the lid latch to work and push it down reads it tells us that there's 15 tracks on it push play and it starts on track one and starts playing cool all right now let's take her back over to the bench and see if we can't fix this this hood latch on it. Okay, I had to uh, re I had to adjust that laser just a little bit more. Uh, it was it would play about half of the first song and then quit and start searching again. So I went back in and I adjusted that laser down to three point six. And now it'll play through the whole CD. I just wanted to come back and tell you that uh, to adjust that laser properly, you need to be under 4. The point four. If you go under point four, it's gonna gonna work good for you. Uh, three point or point three two is about the lowest that you want to go before it'll start burning the the disc and just wearing the laser more than what it should be. Okay, we'll take our 
CD player back out of here. Just have three cables. There we go. Yeah, we can set him off to the side for now. And let's see if we can't get that little switch out of there at least so we can take a look at it. Kind of looks like there's a little clip on either side of it. You can just push in and get one side started. Okay, here's our little hood latch. Now, so let's see if we can figure out why it why it no worky. No worky. I know some I know some people like that. They just no worky. They sit at home. Yeah, that should go all the way down in and and then grab it and latch down in like so but let me use this guy but it's not latching Let's see if we can figure out why looks like okay those are the those two of the clips that hold it up in. Hmm. Let me study this for a minute and if I find out anything I'll show you. There's no hope for this little guy. There's no way to <clears throat> fix it and I don't have another one just lying around so I got a got a kind of a bright idea here that will remove the spring from the top door There we go. Now, let me see if I can get that spring out of there. Which I don't know if it's going to cooperate. breaking something. There we are. There, now see what we can do. So it's usable. Now it'll stay down and it should play. The only problem I'm kind of looking at is trying to figure out how to open it then once you you get it down once it's down you know besides taking a little screwdriver you know you can get under it. <laughs> I have to think about that one for a minute and see if we can't figure out something that 
to make it simple to to get a hold of it. I don't know if somebody actually wants to use a screwdriver or something just to open it. So let me see what I can come up with. Here's what I come up with. Uh, we don't want to use him because he won't put enough let enough pressure down on our switch to turn the CD player on. So what I did was I just drilled a little hole put a screw down in it and put one of those put a pinball machine rubber on it so you can just you can get a hold of it and lift it up and put your CD in and then drop her back down and it'll turn that little switch on right there and start playing so that's what I come up with you know, it doesn't look too bad, and it's functional. It'll work. Okay, now I need to see if I can figure out why that tuner is so stiff. I'm thinking on it that... Ah, oh, man. Let's see if we can get that need to get that knob off. There's the tuner right down in there. But I don't think it's in it as much as it is the shaft coming right down through. Maybe a little, well I'm sure it's plastic on plastic. Let's see if we can get that knob off. Oh, without breaking anything. That knob should be just a a D shape. too overly zealous with it. Come on. Come on up off there. does not want to give it up. I don't want to pull the guts out of the tuner either. just does not want to come off. I'm wondering if they glued that. I mean it is loosening up. The more I play with it.
I think we're going to be okay now. Okay, now all we need to do is get this put back together and we'll be ready to try it out again. Now all we got to do is test it out. Uh, let's see. Tuner. Okay, tuner works. Kind of hard to do this with one one hand, guys. Uh, there we go. Okay. Most of the time, most people are not going to be watching, or going to be hanging on, or trying to do that one-handed. Okay, you see it. Hit play. And... little remote and she plays I can't let it play very long or I'll get hit with copyright infringement so so we got it working uh, like I said uh, uh, there's not a whole hell of a lot you can do about this latch because you know where you gonna find parts for a Chris a Curtis you know, just a little, little Chinese compact disc stereo system, but that'll work. Turn the mute off. Hit play. And there she goes. Alright, so we fixed that little Curtis, it's ready to go, just needs to be wiped down and wipe the cords off and, and she's ready to go. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, if you're new here and haven't, haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and I'll bring you some more of this cool crap. So until next time, see ya.